our tutorial on customizing the qualification screen. There are various ways you can customize the qualification screen to fit your needs. You can move boxes of information around to make it easier to view what's most important to you, and even hide sections of the screen that you are not interested in seeing. When you are in the qualification screen, choose the Activities menu, and then choose Layout. Within Layout, you will see several preset configurations for this screen. They are listed in order by screen resolution, so that you can select the best layout for your computer monitor. You can select each one in turn, even if it does not match your screen resolution, just to see which one works best for you. If you do not care to use any of the preset templates, you can edit the screen to make it your own. For this, let's use a screen resolution of 1280 by 1024, and we'll start with a tabbed Windows Hybrid as a base. To move boxes and tabs, you'll have to unlock the layout. To do this, Choose Activities, Layout, and then Unlock Layout. A pop-up will appear that lets you know that the layout has been unlocked and that exiting the screen will let you save or discard your changes. Now that we have the qualification screen unlocked, we can drag sections around. For instance, if you would like to see sort codes as its own section rather than a tab. Let's take the Custom Fields panel and drag it to the right column to make it a tab. To do this, left-click on the header bar, and holding your mouse button down, Drag it over to the right-hand side of the screen where the other tabs are located. As you drag it, you will see the gray outline of the box display on the screen. It will automatically change size to match the entire right column when you move your mouse to the header for that tab. Once you let go of your left mouse button, it will now become a tab within this screen. Notice the Address Information panel is spanning a larger amount of space now that the Custom Fields panel has been moved to a tab. Now let's click directly in the Sort Codes tab, and drag that tab to be its own box, placing it where the Custom Fields box was. Keep your eye on that gray outline, as that is how you will know where this section will ultimately be placed on the screen. When you let go of the box, it will fall into the place that the gray outline indicated. If a panel needs a little tweaking to adjust its size, you can simply grab the outer boundaries of its section and drag or move them until the section is the size and shape you want it to be. To illustrate this, Let's take the center bar that is splitting these panels and drag it to the right to make the address information box longer and the sort code smaller. Now that we have the layout the way we want it, all that needs to be done is to exit the screen and it will prompt us to save the changes. If we choose Yes to this window, all changes will be saved for the next time you access the screen. If you want to discard the changes that were made, then select No to the prompt. Now let's reopen the qualification screen again from the icon bar. Notice that the sort code panel is still in its own section next to the address information panel, just where we put them before. Now let's say your dispatcher would like to have the same layout on their ESC machine, but they don't want to go through the work of customizing their screen. You can easily share your customized qualification screen template with any other ESC user by going to the qualification screen and clicking Activities, Layout, and then Save. This will allow you to save the layout as a file on your computer. That file can then be shared over a network or emailed to another computer. On the next computer, pull up the qualification screen in ESC and choose Activities, Layout, then Load. This will allow you to browse to that layout file and load it into this computer as well. This concludes our video on customizing the qualification screen. Thank you for watching.